Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, Local23. You're joining me for Choices of Stories You Play, Rules of Engagement, Book 1, Chapter 17, VIP. Oh, that looks awesome. Now playing as Katie on Friday night, not long after a date in Santorin, you stroll on the deck alone. I wish Leo would just tell me what's going on. Something on your mind? Oh, I didn't see you there. I know, big surprise, seeing me behind a bar? Why don't you sit down? I'll fix something up for you. As you take a seat, Dean pours you a drink. So, what are you up to tonight? Oh, you know, I'm just gonna spend the night agonizing. Sounds fun. Over what exactly? I'll be worrying about finishing my inheritance task if I've scared off the guys that I'm dating. Uh, she didn't chase off William, and Leo seemed pretty kosher just hidden past, so I'm gonna go with finishing my inheritance task. I feel like Nana had all these expectations for me, but instead, I'm just my usual indecisive self. What if Mr. Wright just doesn't exist for me? Or, what if he does, but he doesn't feel the same way I do? I'm starting to think I need to learn how to be m with myself first. Well, good for you. But, single or not, you should be having fun on a Friday night, not alone on a deck. How straightforward of you. I don't think I have a choice. Everyone's busy tonight. I'm not. I've got a short shift tonight. My schedule's pretty chill. That is, until the captain's ball tomorrow. Oh, right. Sounds like a big party. Massive. Anyway, I'm off the clock soon. We could hang out. Sure, but what do you have in mind? The ship seems pretty quiet tonight. Not a problem. I know what we can do later, but right now, how about I cook dinner? You cook? What would you make? A shot of whiskey? Well done? Hey, I might only know a grand total of three dishes, but they're incredible. Let me make you a dinner. I bet I can make you eat your words. I bet, huh? What are the stakes? Ladies' choice. You're on. Loser has to streak around the pole in his or her underwear. Give the winner 100 euros. Take a double shot. Oh. So, streak around the pole in his or her underwear? Really? Why not naked? That seems so tame, because it's by a pool. Of course you're gonna be by a pool, like in a bikini, or half-naked. Give the winner 100 euros, or take a double shot. Mm. I don't know, I guess streak. Screw it. One lap. Deal. Let me just clean up and clock out, and then I'm ready to go. Okay. Hurry, I'm hungry. After Dean finishes his shift, he takes you back to the kitchens. Since it's pretty late, we have the whole place to ourselves. Dean opens a bottle of wine and pours two glasses. Two Friday night. You clink glasses and drink the wine. What are you gonna make? It's a surprise, no peeking. You hop up and sit on the counter, sipping wine and averting your eyes as Dean prepares the meal. Yeah, right, come on. Need any help? Nope. I just noticed that skillet right there is sizzling. It's got like a little thing coming on. You sure? Yep. Wow. <laughs> Straightforward answer. Look at that, Steve, look. <laughs> I know, I'm amused by this. 
You continue to laugh and chat together as Dean cooks. He finishes the touches on his mystery dish. Okay, I'm done. One more thing. He takes out a clean dishcloth. Mind if I blindfold you? I prepared a pretty elaborate dinner and I wanted to surprise you. I learned the recipe from one of the best chefs I know. It's the first most gourmet dish you'll ever try. A blindfold? Maybe just this once. No way, mister. Why not be adventurous? But it better be worth it. I promise. Dean wraps a cloth over your eyes. You hear him shuffling around the kitchen. Okay. I'm gonna give you a mouthful of the dish. Oh. Oh, this could go so horribly wrong in my mind. I'm sorry, what? You open your mouth, and Dean feeds you a bite. Wow. You savor the mouthful of delicious, rich flavors. Good, right? I could try and lie to Dean, but would I get away with it? Why would you want to lie? Lie and say the food is gross. Tell him the food is amazing. Why not tell him the truth? Your honest opinion. Yeah. Thanks. You take the blindfold off. What is it, anyway? This is my trusty grilled cheese sandwich. But... It's so simple. How is it so good? This is the best grilled cheese I've ever had. My secret? Just a dash of truffle oil. Oh. As a military brat moving around a lot, I got to try many different cuisines. They were delicious, don't get me wrong. But this was always my comfort food, and I can amend that. My dad used to make this all the time. It took me back to something familiar, no matter where we were. I felt the same way about my Nana's cooking. When you both finish eating your dinner, Dean grins at you. Now, I think you owe me something. Streaking around the pool. Oh man, I was really counting on you losing or forgetting about the bet. You march back up to the pool stubbornly. Oh, that's right. Oh shit. Oh well. Who cares? You stand poolside as you're. Shimmy out of your clothes, Dean leans back with his elbows on the bar counter as the smatterings of cruise guests pass. Cold, cold, cold. It's some in the Mediterranean. You'll get no sympathy from me. Damn it. Strategy fail. I like the raw, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, <laughs> careful. Don't slip. You start your lap around the pole. But just then, a waiter goes by. Whoa there! Dodge. The last last moment, you swerve out of the way. That was close. You finish your lap. <laughs> That's all I'm asking. Yes. Well, I hope you enjoy that. Definitely more than the waiter did. I think you almost pushed him into the pool. Almost. Back to the kitchen. Afterward, you and Dean wash all the dishes. Well, now that we've cleaned up, let's get out of here. I already rented a car. I was going to go to the club where I heard a good show was playing. A DJ from the UK. Come with me. I can at least help you take your mind off of things. It sounds like a plan. I believe this is an unofficial date with the bartender. Cough, cough. You and Dean get into his rental car and head up to explore the nightlife in Greece, which does not look like Greece. It looks like Mexico with the cacti. You settle comfortably in your seat as Dean drives on. Oh. Somehow we've ended up in California. As you pull up on the curb, you can already hear the bass pulsing and people laughing. Well, this is it. I think some drink 
looks, dance, and music in your system are exactly what you need right now. Dean parks the car, and you walk up to the entrance together. A line flows from the door to all the way around the street corner. This line is huge. We're never gonna get in. I've got an idea. We could try to talk our way in somehow. I bet we can get past that bouncer. That guy? Oh, wow. Route 66. And he's in Greece. Really? Have some faith. What do you say? Should we go for it? Let me guess. Diamond War. The club does look fun. I need a night out. Let's get in the club. Let's just keep driving. Really? I just don't know if it's worth it. Alright, no worries. Let's hit the road. Dean drives you both away from the club. After leaving the club, Dean drives around the city. I love driving around aimlessly. You can find out a lot of interesting things without a map. That's what people usually call getting lost. But somehow wandering with you isn't so bad. The car climbs uphill and Dean points out a turn out on the road. The view looks nice. I think I'll pull over here. He parks the car at the overlook. As Dean fiddles around with the radio, you think back on your summer so far. So what's on your mind? You seem deep in thought. I don't know. These past few weeks have been so crazy. Some small part of me thinks that it would be easier to just take Trent back. I love that name, Douche Trent. What? Why? This has all been really hard for me because I'm not really the type to date around. It's hard to believe that someone could fall in love with me so quickly. Okay, um... Shut! That's a tough one for me because I'm neither the one to really date around. And I also think it's hard for someone to fall in love with me so quickly, so this one's tough. Um... Love is what really matters, though. So... The summer has been moving so fast. It's hard enough to date people, but asking them for what Nana wanted? Uh, that's all to ask of anyone, especially if you've just met. I'm sure the right person would want to marry you, and he would do it for the right reason. For you, not for the money. I hope so. Anyway, you shouldn't worry if anyone can fall in love with you. You're amazing, Katie. It kills me when someone like you can see how great you are. I know so many people who settle for losers and end up unhappy because they stop believing they deserve better. I don't want that to happen to you. He tenses, taking a deep breath before shaking his head and relaxing. Sorry. I don't mean to get on a soapbox right now. Whatever you decide, I hope you come find me whenever you need anything. I'm always here to listen. I just wish I could do more. Uh, thanks, Dean. I got an idea. Why don't you marry her? You seem pretty interested in her love life, and you seem apprehensive. Anyway, it's getting kind of late. Want to head back? In a moment. I want to enjoy the view for a while first. So let's take this moment to ponder. You're in the car with a bartender who made you dinner, pretty much went on an unofficial date, and you two are kind of acting like, like he's being chivalrous and being that, in a way, kind of perfect guy, and you're kind of just dense. <laughs> <laughs> on the drive back, you feel your eyelids droop. Out of the corner eye, you see Dean smile at you. He puts a jacket over you as you fall asleep. Again, chivalrous. Later, you and Dean arrive back at the ship. Thanks for tonight. I really needed it. Anytime. 
I'll walk you back to your cabin. Sure. I take a step. You, or excuse me. You take a step toward the hallway door when you hear someone behind you. Oh God. Oh Jesus God and Christ, why? Katie, baby. I'm saying it. Deuce trend. I've got some news for you. Sorry, not interested. Bye. Don't be like that. You want to hear this? I mean it. No, I mean it. I've had time to think about us, and honestly, I don't want anything more to do with you. Because... I'm sick of how you make me feel about myself. You've always been horrible. But I put up with all of it. All the little things eventually build up into something terrible. I should have ended this years ago. Stay away from me. Oh really? Is that what you want? We both know you'll never find anyone else. It's just a matter of time before you find your way back to me. It's too late for you to find another fiancé. That's not true. Who gave you permission to speak? I don't know the guy that's gonna knock the shit out of you. I'm not going to stand here and listen to you talk to Katie this way. Oh, this is rich. I see what's happening here. You two were on a date. We were just... How cute! Look, Katie, he might be good enough for a fling, but you can't seriously tell me you're gonna marry the bartender? I'd rather him marry him than a low life like you. You're coming with me, now! I don't think so. Furious, Trent makes a move toward you, as though to grab you. Get away from her! Before you can react, Dean punches Trent in the face! Down goes asshole! Dean! Trent staggers back, nursing his jaw. To hell with the both of you! Trent leaves for hell. Are you okay, Kitty? I can't believe you punched him. Why did you... I couldn't let him get away with what he was saying. Because, Kitty, I... You... Dean steps forward to take you in his arms and kisses you. Oh, um, I should. Keep kissing him. Pull away. Ah. I'm gonna go with keep kissing him. As you respond, Dean gathers you in closer, kissing you more intensity. What will happen now between you and Dean? And what will turn to his revenge? Find out in the next chapter. I am really surprised that it is going on this long. Holy shit. This is chapter 17? Let me just double check. Hold on. Yeah, this is actually one of, I believe, their longest books. Um, don't quote me on that. But, wow, I think most wanted, actually. Hold on, let me see. No, that's the new one, by the way. Yeah! Wow! Because Crown of Flame was 16. Okay, so that was 18. So we're actually right... We're about at the average. I'd say they might end it on 18. If they don't, I'd be really surprised. Because, wow, it's actually being a pretty long one. I would have thought that would have been the cliffhanger right there. Um, that's what I was expecting last book. So I hope you guys did enjoy that. I myself was wondering, because remember we had um, a certain... I think it was in Freshman? Something like that happened. And actually, Most Wanted something happened like that, too. Where there was chemistry. But then, like, there was... Oh, thanks for the great ride. Uh, have a good night. Oh, good, good night. Do you want me to walk up? Nah, it's okay. Nah. Nah, we're gonna gear away from that. Someone's waiting on me. I gotta go. Um. So, yeah. Um... I'm expecting that the diamond choice would have extended the story. Maybe an extra minute or two. Doubtful, but who knows. If you guys did not check out the announcement at the end of Last Rules of Engagement, um, you should check that out or really quickly. I'm going to go ahead and do um, 
some diamonds here soon, and I'm going to go ahead and go back through some of these books, like uh, Crown of the Flame book one. We're going to start all over in a way. Basically, we'll have all the diamonds that we need for the choices that we need. Um, so I'm doing that as kind of like a I want to see what happens, and kind of like a gift to you folks for being incredibly awesome and uh, watching my videos and doing things like that. So look forward to those. Those are coming out here in the near future, and also look forward to the other great episodes we have this week. Um, I believe it's Freshman Book 3 is next. Let me see. Did I unlock that one? Because I already used the keys. So I want to try and jump on it as fast. Yeah, Freshman Book 3 is next. Then we're going to do the haunted, uh, Haunting of Braidwood Manor. And then I guess I'll either do Love Hacks or Endless Summer next. So stay tuned for all of those. And until next time, folks, remember, if you do enjoy the content, remember to like, comment, and mash that share button. Let's get the content out there. Let's get more people to and not just enjoy Pixelberry's great app, but let's also grow our channel family. We're almost up to 1,300 subscribers, so let's grow it a little bit more. You know, it never hurts to have a bigger family, you know? And until next time, folks, have a good one.